start this problem by asking ourselves what forces are acting on the crate. As shown on this screen now, there's the force of gravity acting downwards, which is 50 G, and then there's the um, force of friction acting upwards along the slope. Notice that I've drawn a set of coordinates on the screen there. I've chosen the x direction to be parallel to the slope and the y direction to be perpendicular to the slope. I'm now going to resolve the weight vector into two components, one along the slope and one perpendicular to the slope. So along the slope we have 50 g sine 15 degrees and perpendicular to the slope we have 50 g cos 15 degrees. We're now in a position where we can draw our free body diagram, which is shown on the screen now, where I've also included now the normal reaction force, N, acting between the crate and the slope. Right, we're now ready to write down our equations of motion. We can write an equation of motion in the x direction first, the resultant force in the x direction, taking the positive direction as down the slope, is 50 g sine 15 minus the frictional force F subscript F. The frictional force we know is equal to the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal reaction force N. We'll leave that for the moment and we'll now go and look at the equation of motion in the y direction. In the y direction, we have the resultant force is equal to n minus 50 g cos 15 degrees. Now, there is no acceleration in the y direction, so that becomes equal to zero. And therefore, we have an expression for n as 50 g cos 15. Going back to the um, equation for the friction force F subscript F. We now substitute that value or that expression for N into that equation, which gives us the equation shown on the screen now, and I'm going to call that equation 2. We now substitute equation 2 into equation 1, which gives us that M A X is equal to 50 G sine 15 minus 0.4 times 50g cos 15. And just doing the algebra now gives us the expression for the acceleration in the x direction as minus 1.251 meters per second squared. Negative sign because it's slowing down. We have to determine the time taken for the crate to come to rest. So to do that, we use one of the kinematic equations. V equals V naught plus AT. Transposing that equation and putting the appropriate numbers in gives us the time taken to come to rest as 6.4 seconds.